Good day again, viewers. We did have the money uh, when I had thought it would be a hundred thousand pesos. Um, Three hundred thousand we don't have, and absolutely zero of that, of either amount, is from donations. These these ignorant, poor ignorant twats who think we get a bunch of money from everyone and don't. Now remember, he said this, he has a hundred thousand pesos and no donations. Now listen again, please. Uh, we don't have the money right now, but I eventually wanted to panel the other side, panel the ceiling. So besides building the cheapest roof possible, he says no budget to finish it. There will be no ceiling. But they are used to no ceiling. <laughs> they haven't had a ceiling for four years. Yeah. You're lucky we got an open ceiling. Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he does his best he can do anymore and that's all I can do yes, but, you know it is what it is I, I can't do what I can't do yes the egg begging bum and it's pathetic Bahaba roof rebuild disappointing but you live and learn uh, to shame Well, big guy, I'm disappointed also. You have managed to e-bake for donations in Super Chat, as Doc has already proved. And how much money has come in from PayPal, etc. Tax-free. And yes, it's cash in the pocket. Big guy, have you developed dementia now? One day you have the money to rebuild the roof and the next day, no budget to finish it properly. Maybe Alzheimer's is setting in. Or are you just bullshitting as usual? And the e-baking bullshit will continue until the build is finished, which I'm sure you will drag out as long as you can to receive as many donations as possible. Please listen. However much longer it takes to get our uh, roof down. And that could be anywhere from a couple weeks to a couple months. Not holding my breath either way. Yes. Hmm. And I just thought of something else coming up. Valentine's is coming. Will he say no budget? Can't buy love, love some wine? And will he admit he spent his budget on Marley's gift? And of course, he doesn't want to forget the young girls with the old potatoes. Oh, yeah. Yes. While Love Love is at the BIR, the big guy was shopping for old potatoes. Or was it young girls he was looking for? <laughs> anyway, to carry on here about his flat roof slash deck build. Anyway, the big guy, he runs into a problem. Where that stick is there? From this part of the pile over are three quarters of an inch thicker than that part of the pile. These are four and three fourths, and these are four inches exactly. Watch again. We're going to use what we've got. Because go ahead, go ahead, guys. Cut it up. And we're going to use what we got. We need. Something I figured we needed. How many did we figure? 47 is what we needed. 
49? Yeah. We got exactly enough. Um, I'm sorry, I know it's annoying, but watch again, please. Same thickness. And three fourths of an inch is, um, well, it's a pretty big difference. I'll check with Top Dye and see if he, I mean, it's ultimately my call. It's just whether or not we want to lug those four and three fourths inch boards all the way back down there. Um, playing them all, playing three quarters of an inch off of all of them. Just so we can, just so we can make them all two by fours. Uh, I don't know. Yes, now he's going to make the joices out of two by fours. <laughs> Why not at least two by sixes? Remember, it's a deck too. And the big guy and plump Gina and the rest of the Bahobo clan will be up there. Hmm. Anyway, it's his final decision. But he's not sure. And he'll talk it over with Tatai. It seems to be a big deal to plane them all to a two by four width. Well, genius, why not bring the generator and the planer to the wood and not the wood to the planer? Anyway, I hope it gets figured out. Now to carry on about it, the Raptors or Joyce's, depends if you're on the deck or you're in the house, what you might call them. <laughs> Please listen to the big guy. I thought it was pretty adamant. He wanted to mix it with diesel. 50-50. There it is right there. And so I acquiesced and said, okay, we'll mix it 50-50 with diesel. And again, please. Uh, the gallon that I bought wasn't enough, so I went back and I got you know, one more liter. Um, and we got them covered here. Um, someone was asking uh, what the ingredients were. And one more time. Well, some people have said in the comments that this is basically worthless, but I've had people say that it works well. Um, their only complaint was that it was expensive, and it is kind of expensive. They don't—they don't—they're not giving it away. But <laughs> yep, the roof lumber is treated, but he diluted it fifty-fifty with diesel. And it says full strength and more than one application is advised. But he says it's expensive. So of course he's cutting costs. And it's been advised by uh, commenters, it's worthless to use. But he's going with it. Yes, he's hoping for the best. I mean, it's only the roof over the house. <laughs> So now the roof build has started. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why not move the garbage out of your way so at least you can work in a decent workspace? Anyway, watch a game, please. Yes, he said it's his decision, and he's the boss, right? Now watch and listen. Or maybe he's not going to put one there, I don't know. Not one on this side either. I don't know exactly how he's kind of giving Tata a 
a little bit of a free hand on these uh, support boards here. So does this mean the uh, genius doesn't have a clue of what he's doing? And if anything is wrong, of course, he's got Tata to blame and throw under the bus. But things are progressing with the roof slash deck. <laughs> Mark and there, but we'd, uh, we'd spoke about the slope on this um, one inch higher in the center, this this part here, and sloping one inch to each side, uh, just in case there's leaks, there'll be the problem. Man, it stinks. This whole house stinks. 